the continent. Tunisian citizens have been frustrated over the continuous increase in the price of essential food commodities in the country as this trend is expected to continue in 2023. Now, the prevailing economic hardship triggered by high inflation and other factors have severely disrupted the life and livelihood of the uh, citizenry. Now, authorities of the North African nation are, however, initiating measures to mitigate the seemingly unending economic pressure on the citizens, of course, Tunisian people. Now, let's have more details of that in this report. Tunisian consumers are struggling to keep up with rising prices of food, energy and essential services. This as inflation has hit a 10-year high. As a retiree and just like many Tunisians, I'm drowning in debt and unpaid bills. I just go to the food market to look at fruits, vegetables and meat which I cannot afford. Retail and consumer experts in the North African state have warned that prices of food and commodities will continue to rise due to an inflationary environment. The rising inflation is reducing the purchasing power of consumers and affecting their livelihoods. People don't want to understand why this is happening. They just want prices to go down. Earlier this month, the Central Bank of Tunisia kept its key interest rate steady at 8% after delivering a 75 billion points hike from 7.25 percent in December to combat high inflation. The Apex Bank estimates average inflation rates will hit 11 percent in 2023. When inflation hits new records, the central bank has no choice but to increase the interest rate to fight inflation in the medium and long term. The stability of prices is our objective. Authorities in Tunisia have decried the rising cases of hoarding, which they say resulted in only 5% of goods and food commodities reaching the state-run wholesale market. Officials added that the rest is lost in the ventures. I came to the markets to assess the situation because I have warned them many times. This is the last warning to those who are raising prices. Analysts believe that the current delays in Tunisia's agreement with the IMF on the $1.9 billion loan will cause prolonged shortages of goods in the domestic market and weight on the local currency, the dinar leading to higher inflation rates. Economic observers say the IMF has made the gradual elimination of energy and food subsidies a pillar of Tunisia's economic reform program. Despite the government's commitment to supporting consumers, many people believe the impact on purchasing power would be drastic.